Okay, hi, hello everyone. Hello and good afternoon. Uh, welcome to our Facebook page, uh, Prima by Hume Sandboard Industries. And now you are watching Prima Product Preview broadcasted live on Facebook. Please follow and like this page to gain all access to our exciting and informative contents. For those who don't really have the opportunity to watch live now, no worries as we have this video recorded and you can watch it during your free time via this page. For your information, this product preview is also available in Bahasa Melayu and Chinese language. For those who prefer this language, you can catch them afterwards and we will broadcast it starting tomorrow and a day after. Just log on to this uh, Facebook page to check out more info on the live sessions, uh, date and time. Yeah. Okay, my name is Azrul and I'm from Business Development Unit of Hume Sandboard Industries or in short HCI. So today I'm going to have a product preview on our first product which is called Prima Flex as you can see on the screen there. Please sit, please sit back and enjoy the preview. You are welcome to comment as we go live and ask questions if any. I'll try my best to get the answers during or after the session. All right, first and foremost, uh, let me start with an introduction of the company that produced PrimaFlex. Hume Sandboard Industries Number Hut is the name behind the scene. It's a subsidiary company of Honlian Group, established since year 1980. And as you can see, uh, it's sharing the same logo with the more famous Honlian Bank. In short, it manufactures and sells fiber cement products under brand name Prima. That is P-R-I-M-A. And this brand has been in building material market for quite some time. Prima is proudly made in Malaysia and currently being produced in our two factories. One in Kantan Pera and another one is in Petaling Jaya, Selangor with a total workforce of more than 500 team members. Prima is not only sold in Malaysian domestic market, which includes both Peninsula and East Malaysia, that means Sabah and Sarawak. It is also being exported to over 40 other countries, such as Australia, New Zealand, Oceania, Middle East, Southeast Asia, Taiwan, and many more. Next. Well, before we touch on the product preview, which is Prima Flex to be specific, I think it is no harm to learn what Prima is made of. With the generic material name, cellulose fiber cement, the basic component consisting three main ingredients. Firstly, sand or in more specific granulated fine sand secondly opc cement and thirdly cellulose fiber which were taken from a tree pulp well almost similar to reinforced concrete concept which uh, components are cement aggregate and enforcement bar Firesman also designed to take up both tension and compression force. Think it like a 150mm thick RC slab, but in a small scale of 3.2mm to 20mm of thickness. Same principle, but different purposes. These three main components together with uh, additives were carefully mixed with water in a certain ratio and formula to create a slurry mix. This slurry mix is then pumped into a hatchet machine to produce raw fiber cement sheets layer by layers. The illustration on the top right of the shows 
that how the machine looks like. There are few drums and conveyors belt that functions to create fiber cement sheets layers. After the raw, which is wet and soft fiber cement sheet created, it will be cut using water jet machine into few standard sizes, for example, four by eight board and 12 feet planks. Stack them together on the curing pallets. These raw materials are then inserted into an autoclave machines. As you can see on the right side of the slide, there are the autoclave machines. The autoclave machine function as a pressure cooker. With high pressure and temperature, it cures the wet fiber cement sheets to achieve the design strength. Within a couple of hours only, the FC is then fully cured and hardened. This is important step to make sure the curing process is efficient and produce good quality fiber cement. Once out from autoclave, the fiber cement is good for packaging and distribution within few hours. These are some points highlighting why fiber cement is a good building material for construction. Firstly, it is asbestos free material, meaning it has 0% asbestos content. As we all know, asbestos is a carcinogenic material that can cause cancer and was banned by Malaysian government years ago. Secondly, it is a water resistant material, means it can withstand water or weather and suitable for wet area application. Let's have a look at the photo on the right side. Here you can see a sample of fiber cement being soaked or encased in the water since year 2008. Until today, the sheet is still intact and maintains its physical properties no swelling or even dissolved by the water. And then thirdly, it is anti-mold. Lab test shows fungus and mold do not grow on Prima fiber cement surface. This means your walls and ceilings has less chances to get mold grow. Next, fire resistant material. Prima has passed the BS476 part 6 and part 7 tests and certified as class O material by Malaysian Fire Department. Having this, it also enables us to build fire rated wall system that can withstand up to 3 hours fire rating. And that would be Prima solid wall and Prima drywall system. Considerably high in density, Prima fiber cement is at 1000 390 kg per meter cube. Not too heavy, but at the same time not too light or flimsy. On thermal performance, its K value, which uh, represent conductivity, is low at 0 0.3 watt milli Kelvin, and the R value represent insulation, is good at 0 0.03 meter square Kelvin per watt. This explains why fiber cement can be a good insulation in roof sucking application. Uh, last but not least on strength, Prima Fiber Cement's Modulus of Rupture or MOR, which uh, representing the flexural strength performance, averagely measured at 14 MPa. This enables Prima to offer a stronger and more robust material for your drywall ceilings, lightweight floorings compared to other function equivalent material in market. There are few key performance attributes that outstand fiber cement among other materials. Uh, the first one is termite resistance. If you have a timber, definitely it's exposed to termite attacks because timber lo uh, termite loves timber and wood. But fiber cement basically is cement, so you don't have to worry about that. And it is fire resistant, as mentioned, is a class O, water resistant, weather resistant, 
environmentally friendly, superior pin adhesion, high workability, aesthetically pleasing, and it is said Fabricement can last for 50 years. So here we're talking about a Fabricium with a proper installation accordingly to the manufacturer recommendation. However, under Prima, we gave you three years limited warranties. Prima products are considerably green level. Green products that got certification from most of uh, international bodies. So we are not only uh, have certification from Malaysia, uh, we also have certificate from Korea, China, uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, and Taiwan. Yeah, so uh, this Green Building Index uh, by Malaysian GBI, uh, you can achieve this points by using uh, this product. Besides green product certification, Prima also have other certification that's equally important. One is Ikram, and then after that is Serim product listing, and then Bomba, which is Malaysian Fire Department, certifies the material is Class O. Malaysian Standard, compliance to MS1296, and Serim Eco Label, and not to forget my hijau certification. All right, so if you can see on the slide at the moment, this beautiful house, believe it or not, is fully built using a fiber cement. Yes, it is possible, except the foundation, of course, the structure, and also the roofing. At this point of time, fiber cement technology uh is not into that kind of uh, elements so we can group this uh, application into two groups one for aesthetic purposes and another one is for constructive under aesthetics you can do as a external wall cladding screening skirting wood substitute and constructive you can do drywall or solid wall, ceiling, roof sacking, flooring, soffit, gable end, and fascia. Prima fiber cement product lineup. So currently we have six product lineup or categories. And the first one, of course, is Prima Flex. The second one is Prima Plank. And then we have Prima Liner, Prima Lattice, Prima Vent, and Prima Flex Groove. But today we're going to talk only about fiber cement, uh, sorry, Prima Flex fiber cement. In definitions, Prima Flex is a fiber cement board which typically come with the size of 4 by 8 feet. It's a strong multi-purpose flat board with a wide range thickness for multi-use applications. It is smooth and flat on the surface, having square edges on all sides. And in terms of looks, it is in gray cement color. However, you can always paint it uh, if you have uh, uh, idea to change the color. As you can see on the slide, there are few thickness of Prima Flex, starting from 3.2 mm until 20 mm thick. Well, this thickness is suitable for different applications. Generally, we can group it into three group, thin, middle thickness and the thickness. So the thin one, 3.2 mm, 4.5 and 6 is mostly suitable for lightweight application, for example, like ceilings. And middleweight one, 6 mm thick, 
7.5 and 12 mm 9 and 12 mm is suitable for middle weight application like drywall and solid wall and not to forget cladding while the thick one 16 mm and 20 mm having that thickness as a standard is more suitable for load bearing application for example like lightweight flooring and also permanent form work not only having this kind of thickness variation we also have uh, sh different sheet sizes we have in the form of two by two four by two four by four and four by eight in more detail you can have a look at our e-brochures if you got a chance to download it or you can always contact our uh, salesperson to get more info well let's go to the application of uh, Prima Flex these slides and the slides after will show you some ideas how Prima Flex been used as you can see now it is being used as a wall cladding again this material is weather resistant so it is suitable to be used externally it looks like a aluminum composite panel yes but it's not you can use fiber cement board as a wall cladding bonus point you can always repaint it anytime because the surface is paintable not only for internal you can do also external wall cladding and you can always cut it into the sizes that you wanted to follow suit your design intention so if you can see in this drawing you can have a narrow size and also a bigger piece of Prima Flex as a wall cladding. Let's have a look at this drawing. This uh, represent how things being done when it comes to wall cladding application. You imagine you have a bare finish uh, uh, brick walls as the base. So you're planning to clad the wall. So what we need to do is we need to install the subframe first. So as you can see, the subframe is normally made of lightweight uh, gauge governized steel C channel. It can come with a thickness of 0 0.5 or 0 0.76. It depends on the location and the loading. After you have installed these subframes, typically with the intervals of 610 maximum, then you bring in the vapor barrier as an optional or you can always straight away install the Prima Flex bot onto the subframe. In this case, since the subframe are using metal, so the fixing method we are using screws. In specific, the screws that we are using is self-drilling screws so they can have a very nice finishes on the surface. Please uh, pay attention on the screw intervals and all this you can have uh, inside the technical manual. All right. Next, Prima Flex also can be used as a lightweight flooring. If you can see from this drawing, the lightweight flooring constructed with two components. One is the structure, which is using a joist or barrier. It can be mostly hollow section, or it can be timber framing. Since the board size is four by eight, we always recommend the joist space framing uh, should be starting from 1.22 meter by 0.4 zero seven meter so after this joist has been installed straight away bring the prima flex and screw onto the frames and again this is using a uh, self-drilling screws but a little bit longer since the uh, thickness is higher which is 16 and 20 mm 
If you can see clearly here, this shows the cross-section of the lightweight flooring. Not only at the dry area, you can also do this uh, lightweight flooring for wet area, for example, like toilets. It's not that hard. You just need some waterproofing systems uh, to be in the construction details like this. So what happens here after the Prima Flex board, you put in waterproofing uh, brush on waterproofing with all the accessories. And this waterproofing is by others, not by Prima. You can always look for people like Sika and Mape. And then after that, what you do is you can scrape the floor just to get the gradient before you do the tilings or finishes. So in this case, the tiling, uh, it is recommended for you to use a cementitious adhesive instead of a normal mortar because the board itself is very fine and that is the correct way how we mount all the finishes onto the surface. As you can see, this is one of the project that utilizing Prima Flex as the floorboard. It's not only give you fully dry construction method, which is fast to construct, no wet work. It also clean and tidy. So if you can see, the surface can be finished up with uh, multiple options of uh, finishes. In this case, uh, if not mistaken, this is epoxy painting. As you can see, this is the board before the finishes. So you just cut according to the size and screw onto the mild steel. Imagine you have a double volume space or even triple volume space and you need to build another floor in between instead of constructed using conventional method where you need to cast a concrete which is wet work and slow you can have prima flex as a lightweight flooring so again as shown in the drawing just now you have a floor barrier at the bottom there in this case, it is mild steels. And then the fiber cement board 16mm uh, installed on top of the barrier. Not only normal flooring, you can also do staging flooring. For example, like in cinema, stadium, or even a parliament. So this method is easy to do. And considerably economically uh, feasible to do because what you need is just the mild steel frames and the fiber cement board. Next, Prima Flex also can be used as a roof sucking. Well, for those who do not know what is roof sucking, let me explain a little bit. Roof sucking is really a component required inside a metal deck roofing system. Besides the structure, uh, metal, you need some insulation and the supporting structure. So Prima Flex provide heat and sound insulation to the metal deck systems. So it's a vital component inside a metal deck roofing system. Not only that, Prima Flex also known to be used as a permanent formwork, especially in a projects like bridges and flyovers. Well, conventionally, Contractors would use plywood as the formwork and need to install prop underneath. But in some circumstances, this is not possible because 
imagine down there you have a live traffic or even a river so you can't afford to have a prop setting underneath the bridges so this is where permanent form work uh, being specified and normally engineers would use 16 mm to 20 mm thick so what happened here the fiber cement board being cut accordingly to the gap or the span between these t-beams or uh, girders and then the board being layered one by one and then after that it is ready for you to start your slab casting works starting with a reinforced bar installation and then after that you can pour in concrete on top so that's the the, the method that uh, contractors normally use to construct a flyover slab okay so when engineers design their bridges for example there are multiple ways or multiple uh, calculation or multiple design and translated into multiple clear span so by having if if you can see clearly inside this uh, slide it shows the suitable board thickness recommended to cater for a certain clear span and also uh, in situ concrete slab thickness but in more detail you can contact our technical person to advise you on this uh, uh, applications well i think we have come to the last slide of the review but before i end i wish to inform that uh, you can look for us uh, on the facebook we have uh, digital presence under the facebook you can always look for prima hci and inside there you can see uh, there are a lot of pictures uh, live updates and also ideas uh, how you use a fiber cement board please like the page and on the video we have a few videos uploaded in the YouTube you can always search Prima Fiber Cement inside there there will be videos showing installations especially on all of our systems like ceilings drywall and solid wall all right that's all for this round and we shall continue with our next product review on Prima Plank in real soon thank you very much for your time and interest and again please like or even share this posting and follow our facebook page thank you for your support and participation please do not hesitate to contact us should you have any inquiry about prima products bye thanks